can deploy a Quarkus-based application to their OpenShift dedicated cluster. After deploying the application, they can use the service discovery feature of 3Scale API management to automatically import and manage the API exposed by the Quarkus application. To get started, head over to the GitHub repository shown on screen and clone it locally using Git. Next, you'll need to log into the cluster using the OpenShift CLI. You can obtain the login command for the CLI from the user drop-down menu on your OpenShift cluster. At this point, you might want to open the code base and take a look. Right here, you can see I have the README open, and at the bottom here, I have a deploy to OpenShift command. So I'm going to go ahead and run that now. But before running that command, I need to run an OC new project command first to give me a namespace in which to deploy the application. Now that I have a project namespace, I can go ahead and run the maven command here to deploy to OpenShift. After a short time, this process will report that it started a binary build on OpenShift. So now you can head on over to your OpenShift cluster, find your project, go to the build section, and monitor the progress from there. Once the build is complete, you can verify everything is set up correctly by navigating to the topology view for the project. From here, you can find the public endpoint for your application and open it. The default Quarkus homepage should be displayed. However, if we navigate to the forward slash open API endpoint, we can view our open API spec. By passing the format equals JSON parameter, we're able to view it as JSON. To automatically import and manage the Quarkus API service in 3Scale API management, you'll need to add some annotations and a label to the underlying service definition. You can view and verify that the annotations and labels have been added correctly by going to the service details YAML page. At this point, you can navigate to the 3Scale API management dashboard using the shortcut in the OpenShift application launcher. From here, click the new product button. Choose the import from OpenShift option and authenticate if prompted. Ensure that your product and the Quarkus API service are selected in the dropdowns, then click create product. Your new API product should appear in the APIs list a few moments later. Expand the section for your new API and click the active doc link. The active doc page will display the Quarkus API name. Click it and verify that the imported methods look correct. To get started using this API in the staging environment, you'll need to create an application plan as noted here in the 3Scale UI. Head over to the application section on the left, select application plans, choose create application plan, and fill in the fields as shown. Click the create application plan button when you're finished. By default, the plan isn't published, so go ahead and click that publish link. To use this plan, you'll need to assign it to an application on a API consumer account. To do that, choose audience from the top menu. Next, select the default developer account. Navigate to the applications list for this user. And from here, choose create application. On this screen, you can choose the application plan you created earlier and then enter a name and description before clicking Create Application. Here on the application screen, you can see that there is an API key after being generated. You'll use this key to make secured API calls to your Quarkus API. Using the top navigation menu, return to your imported Quarkus API overview and click to view the configuration. From the configuration screen, you can see that the example curl for testing in the staging environment now contains an API key that you just generated. You can now go ahead and test out this URL using your web browser or a HTTP client of your choosing. Here you can see I'm testing directly in my web browser and going to the fruits endpoint and I get the list of fruits back as expected. You should head back over to the 3Scale UI at this point and view the traffic analytics for your API. The graph should reflect the number of API calls you've made to the API endpoint during your tests. Finally, you should consider deleting the unprotected public endpoint for your Quarkus API. This was created when you initially deployed it using Maven, since it was useful to verify that the Quarkus application and Open API endpoint were working as expected. You can delete this by issuing an OC delete route command and passing the name of the route as a parameter. And that's it. You've deployed a Quarkus application to your OpenShift dedicated cluster running Red Hat OpenShift API management, and you've successfully protected it using the API management service.